Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Rob the Rock Lobster Gaming here. Uh, just bringing you a quick tutorial on Destiny, all the chest locations on Mars, and all the Relic Iron locations. Well, most of the ones. It's probably the best route I've seen, or route, if you want to call it that way. Big shout out to the man Rifle Gaming for the being the main initial area that I was looking in. His route was pretty good. Um, also, just a few other YouTubers that I was watching in their locations sort of compiled them together to give you the best speed run for Relic Iron. Relic Iron you use to upgrade certain uh, legendaries and exotics such as my helmet here you need uh, Relic Iron as well as Ascended Shards at some point. But in this area while you're doing your grinding you should get um, you should get two two like, uh, public events happening at the same time so what you want to do is you want to head over to Mars and you want to go to patrol. You should, yeah, you should have at least two uh, public events happen within an hour. An hour would get you roughly 120 relic iron uh, in the hour, and sometimes a bit less. Uh, it depends how friendly the chests want to be to you. There's times where you go and you can do like one chest. There's other times you can go and you'll do like eight chests. But also on the chest you can get ship blueprints, which I've gotten two, which I got this bad boy. Uh, you can also get multiple different uh, relic iron uh, uh, amounts. Relic iron amounts you can get sometimes ascended materials and also All you right, can get can uh, rare engrams and sometimes legendary engrams. Uh, so what you want to do is pretty much just straight from spawn is pretty much the point where you can see many locations. There's usually a relic iron spawn point there, about there, also next to this rock you can usually see the tip of it, and also when you're coming down here there's a point on the right and just inside on the right there. So usually my route that I go, as I head straight down here, you can't see any relic iron where you're coming up, usually you can come down and on the right hand side in that little, like where the light is there, you can usually see it and sometimes in that little rock there. What I usually do is just shoot around here, bring it all the way back in, and fire just inside here, and usually chests spawn inside this cave. Then what you want to do is come straight over the top here. So that was chest location number one. This is chest location number two, right where my sparrow is now. Also relic iron spawns just here. Then fire down around here, relic iron spawns where I am now, and just behind this tree thing and then shoot round inside this cave. Inside this cave, chests spawn in here sometimes as well. Then fire straight out across here, hit this biggest point here, this is probably the best point to hit. Oh, the sparrow just slowed down there. Just straight off, jump off your sparrow and then you usually hit this base or building. And this is one of the chest locations here, right next to the building. There you go, some relic iron, as well as uh, uncommon. Also a chest spawns right here where I'm standing. And also, if you have a look, straight out the back there. Then drop inside the building, if you haven't seen any there. One normal spawns about here. You want to kill these guys and take them with the bullets. Like so. And also, you can get a uh, chest spot just here. So, from there, I usually head straight outside. The chest spawns uh, where I'm stood now. And also, straight out the back. Run down in here inside, a chest is spawned there. I usually head down here, which I call hidey hole number one. Chest spawns behind this box, like so. Also, up the top there, uh, on those boxes, in that back corner, and over that side. So I head back up. Always check behind that box, I've seen it there once or twice. Sometimes it spawns on this corner as well. This is what we call box point, this big box thing. Chest spawn in the, there and in behind there we call box rock. This is hidey hole number two where they can also spawn on top of the box there, all around here, same sort of locations up top. Then what you want to do is you head out here and you've got some, uh, some friends to play with. They are usually quite nice to hang out with. If you have a look out to your right, on top of there, looks like Lion King's Rock, there's some no, normally relic iron that spawns up there. Usually here I just hop on my sparrow, come into this rock, which we, oh, into this cave, which we call Lucky Cave. And from there, if there's nothing there, we head out there, 
and also uh, a chest spawns here, which we call battle chest, because usually that's where they, the, the battle's happening. Right across here, make sure you don't run into those barriers because they do stop you, they're not your friend. Chest spawns in two locations here, as well as relic iron. Quiet foam! Also, relic iron spawns in the shade, just up in these weeds here, at the tip of this rock here, and across here with this little guy that sticks out of the ground. So from there you want to fire straight across into here, usually a chest location where I'm where I'm hovering. There's also a relic iron here, over here, and up here. Then you come around, you just do like a little bit of a strafe on your on your uh, sparrow. Normally chest hides just in there, and then I just fire in here, and boom, there's another chest for us. And there's two there, which is nice. Come out, relic iron spawns behind this tree, also over this side, and also you want to check just here because that's where it also spawns, and then that brings you back to the start. So I usually like to hang around here, don't fire off straight away because sometimes I've done that and I feel like it doesn't reset everything straight away. So I just sit here, I just dismantle some of my own commons, and yeah. So here we are, I'm just going to go do a, uh, a speed run for you guys now and uh, yeah, see how it goes. speed run uh, yeah I didn't get too much there but that's roughly how long it takes if you know what you're looking out for like I do you can generally see some something in just like you know at the corner of your eye or something like that so hopefully this has been helpful to you do it with someone uh, I, I find it's the best with someone so like usually from here someone can go straight ahead and then someone can go off to the right and then you can sort of call it oh there's chest over here or there's iron uh, relic iron over here same with when you're down bottom you can can um, jump underneath and someone can go over top over the top like of the building so anyway hopefully this is helpful to you uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and uh, let us know how successful you are usually usually I can get roughly about 50 and half an hour maybe a little bit more so hopefully it's been helpful to you give us a like and let me know if you want me to do a couple more demonstrations and uh, some of my other runs that I have in mind uh, probably will be posting a little bit of destiny stuff but not too much uh, thanks for watching, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want more content from me, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. That's where he stopped, right there.